Hey guys. This is the main project I've been working on for the past year or so. It's a Gantry style CNC router. And I thought I would make a quick little video, show you some of the parts of it, some of the things I did making it. There were no plans for this, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. For doing the cutting, I went with this Bosch trim router. It's a nice size router for this kind of machine. It has lots of power and it has variable speed control. So that should work out well for me in different materials that I want to go through and cut. A little knob here, of course, tightens up this circle it's in, holds it nice and tight. Well, as that assembly moves the router up and down into the workpiece as well as setting the depth. I'm using bushings and rods here because it keeps this assembly nice and compact. One downside, it does give me a little bit more, more flex in here than I'd really like, but uh, it should be all right. Here's the Y axis. It moves the Z assembly back and forth across the table. In here, you can see I've got these little couplers I made out of plywood. One holds on to the threaded rod, the other one on the motor. And I've got these little slices of surgical tubing that I've used to wrap around here at, to act as the cushion between the two couplers. The x-axis moves the gantry up and down the table, like so. There's a little nut in here, which is what the threaded rod pushes and pulls on. All the axes have this little assembly here, which is uh, an anti-backlash mechanism I came up with. I might do a separate video on how I made that and how that works. All the axes also have a pair of these limit switches on either end of it to prevent the machine from trying to go too far. It'll cut the motor off in that direction if it trips that. On the bed of the CNC, I added this sacrificial layer from an old desk that I had, drilled a whole bunch of holes in it, and tapped them so that I can put on little brackets like these, tighten it up and hold the work down. The plastic I have taped on here on either side is really just to kind of contain the dust that comes off as I'm using it. I don't have any dust collection system really set up for this yet, so so far that's been working out. It just kind of keeps everything contained and keeps it off the, the rollers on the side. So all the electronics are contained in, in the end here. This switch controls the power to these two outlets. The bottom one goes to a laptop power supply which is kind of tucked in behind here and feeds the power to all the motors and electronics. The top one also goes through a relay that's in here and controls the router. That lets me basically turn that off and everything shuts down. Inside underneath that little red circuit board is a beagle bone. It's running Linux CNC. It takes the g-code which represents the part that I want to have made and turns it into pulses which tell the motors to go clockwise or counterclockwise. Those signals go down through the ribbon cables there, through some opti-isolators, and then I take those signals, condition them a little bit, send them back out with power to all the different motors. These little boards over here I made, uh, condition them a little bit more. They take, they listen to the switches, let me jog the motors left and right with these buttons, and then send that out to this little red board here, which I bought. It's a, a, a big easy board from SparkFun. And that ultimately drives, puts the power to the, the motor. So the last little part to control it, the BeagleBone doesn't, the BeagleBone green that I have in there doesn't actually have a display on it. So I basically log into it over USB from my laptop bring the display to here so I can control it from the laptop even though everything's getting run on the BeagleBone. Alright guys, so that's the CNC. Pretty interested to see what I actually end up using this for. I'm hoping to use it to clean up some some mortises, maybe in, uh, flatten some mangrain cutting boards. Still have some actual work to do on the CNC yet. 
need to wrangle the cords, do some better dust control. But yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. Take care, guys.